Hebrews 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated at the pl in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. Be careful that you do not refuse to listen to the one who is speaking. For if the people of Israel did not escape when they refused to listen to Moses, the earthly messenger, we will certainly not escape if we reject the one who speaks to us from heaven. When God spoke from Mount Sinai, his voice shook the earth. But now he makes another promise. Once again, I will not shake. Once again, I will shake not only the earth, but the heavens also. This means that all of creation will be shaken and removed, so that only unshakable things will remain. Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear and awe. Let us pray. Father God, we bring you our hearts. We ask for forgiveness. Father, we sin. Even when we don't want to, we just sin all the time. And we pray for healing. And we pray for restoration. And we bring to you our hearts as the only gift that we can bring. And we lay them at your feet, and we worship you with reverence and awe. In Jesus' name, amen.